Hello, my name is Zlata Polishuk. I am a medical consultant at Neurosoft Company. Today, we will discuss the methods of impedance testing using the ATIMP device. What is tympanometry? Tympanometry is a method for objective diagnosis of the middle ear, tympanic membrane mobility, and admittance of the auditory ossicular chain by changing the pressure in the patient's external ear canal. We already have a video on our channel with recommendations for conducting this examination. Before the examination, it is necessary to perform otoscopy and ensure the absence of earwax in the patient's external ear canal, as well as exclude inflammatory conditions of the outer and middle ear. Connect the ATIMP unit to the terminal or PC using the USB cable. Before starting the working day, we perform daily calibration of the device. To do this, go to the settings, press System Preferences, Daily Calibration. Take the probe, insert the probe tip firmly into the test cavity, then press the Start button. Calibration is completed. You can start working. Next, select a suitable sized ear tip. Firmly put it on the probe tip and insert it into the patient's external ear canal. For better fixation, you can use a special handle. It is not recommended to hold the probe with your hand during the examination. Place the unit on the patient using a special shoulder harness. Before starting the examination, we create a new patient in the database. Enter the name, last name, and date of birth. You can also enter other data if necessary. Press the check mark in the bottom right corner. Select the necessary examination. Tympanometry L for the left ear or tympanometry R for the right ear, respectively. At the beginning of the examination, the screen will display a seal check. If the ear tip is selected in the wrong size and there is a leakage, or if the ear tip rests against the wall of the external ear canal, the test will be automatically paused. During the test, the patient should remain silent and avoid swallowing or chewing movements. If the ear tip is correctly fitted, the test takes two to three seconds. The tympanometric curve appears on the display, from which we can assess the condition of the middle ear. Below the tympanogram, the following data is displayed. Compliance, pressure in DAPA, volume of the external ear canal, and gradient. During tympanometry testing, the physician can select the standard from 400 to the extended 600 range of pressure changes. Change the probe tone frequency from the standard 226 Hz to the high frequency 1000 Hz for young children examination, or the probe tone to 678 or 800 Hz for dislocation or disruption diagnosis of the ossicular chain. To change the probe tone frequency during the current examination, press the plus in the bottom left corner of the display and select the desired probe tone. The device allows recording four tympanograms in one examination. You can also change the start and stop pressures. After completing the examination, press stop in the bottom corner of the screen. If you need to save the examination, press the floppy disk icon. If you need to print the examination, press view and the printer icon at the bottom of the screen. To exit the examination, press the arrow in the bottom left corner. If necessary, you can also create a separate template. To do this, press the settings button, tests settings, tympanometry test settings, and press the ear icon at the bottom of the screen. Then give a name to the new template. You can also change the start pressure, stop pressure, pressure change speed, and probe tone frequency. To save the template, press the arrow in the bottom left corner. You can import examination results to your PC and analyze them in the program software. 